Hudson River Conservancy is looking to get kids outdoors and down and dirty by inviting them to trainings for things like fly fishing and rock climbing. More like, oh my gosh, <laughs> when I look down how I s I'm not used to being that high up. After a year of remote learning, nine-year-old Griffin Boyd is ready to spend as much of his free time outside. I think it would be nice to come out and play like this, like rock climb or swim. Thanks to the Kern River Conservancy, these kids are doing just that. Throughout the pandemic, we always heard stories from parents and stuff like that about the kids aren't getting outdoors, the kids are stuck home constantly with virtual learning, and um, some of the parents aren't noticing changes in behavior. Founder of the Conservancy, Gary Anonian, made it his mission to get kids back outdoors post-COVID. So he applied for a grant from the Virginia and Alfred Harrell Foundation to begin a monthly program called Getting Dirty. And that's getting kids back outdoors and getting dirty again, whether it's rock climbing, fly fishing, stand-up paddle boarding. Ananian says this program is perfect for those tired of the reclusive lifestyle COVID brought on. Thanks to the grant, they can provide all the expensive equipment, activity gear, and instructors at no charge. Now kids like Griffin have the chance to experience something new. And even if it's difficult, they're not afraid. Like this? Yep. The certified instructors at these events make sure everyone is prepared, even me. Okay, now you're high enough where you can go a little under the rope and to that ledge. And while I made it to the top, I think I'll leave the climbing to kids like Griffin. But the program isn't just about sporting activities, it's also about doing good. Once the weather cools down, Ananian wants to take the kids up to areas that were impacted by the French fire. A lot of these kids like to come rock climb or mountain bike or whatever it is and their favorite areas are burned down. So we came up with this idea, like, let's take these kids to their favorite outdoor areas that recently burned and have them planted up and um, have the forest regrow in those sections. So the Kern River Conservancy is holding activities like this about once a month. They're open to about a dozen kids each time. So keep an eye on their social media pages and reach out to them if you're interested in attending their next event. For 23ABC News, I'm Veronica Morley connecting you.